any other time sometimes you gotta say go ahead hey man eat some Captain Crunch or some sugar pops but I'm gonna turn my face to the wall and I'm gonna call on the name of the Lord why because I'm too blessed to be stressed God wants me blessed God wants me joyous God wants me free God does not want me bound by anything not only the addictions but God don't want me bound by burdens of life he said if you amen will seek my faith and you seek the name of the Lord first he'll add everything up into you Martha a single mother mother Jesus has come into a home and Mary has come into a home the difference between Mary and Martha Martha was stressed she was pulling her hair out she didn't know how to orchestrate it she did not know how to manage her time and so she went to the law she said Mary Mary you ought to get in the middle hallelujah of doing what I'm doing because all of these things are needful and hallelujah but Mary she her sister if you will they have been raised the same way they have been raised the same home but Mary had made a choice and Mary said I'm going to sit at the feet of Jesus and the Bible says she heard his word sometimes you got to recognize hallelujah I'll stack the dishes up rather than wash them all the way out I got time for that but I'm gonna get into the word the word of God is more than my necessary food I know if I give myself to God and allow God to speak to me he'll lift up my burdens he'll dry my tears he'll straighten my back he'll make a way out of no way Mary said, Martha, I know we got to do what we got to do. Hallelujah. The Bible uses a word and it says, but Martha was cumbered. Martha was cumbered. What does that mean? That means that Martha, amen, she was overburdened. Has anybody out there been overburdened before? You just got too much on your plate, but you don't know how to take anything off because everything on the plate is important everything you're doing you got to do but I'm just walking through life I'm not having no joy I'm not having no peace I'm just going through life from one thing to do to the next thing to do I'm here to declare unto you the God that I serve he is a God that has come here to set you free he is a God that have come here to speak words of joy he's a God that has come here to lift you up he's saying don't get stuck right where you are be like Mary and turn your face and seek my word and then will I hear from heaven and I'm going to bless your soul I'm going to make a way out of nowhere but you've got to learn how to be a crazy woman not a crazy woman because you don't cover your hair not a crazy woman because you don't do this but a crazy woman because I give God praise I drive and I give God praise I take my children to school and I give God praise I go into job and I give God praise I'm gonna praise my God I'm gonna lift him up and I'm gonna watch God melt away the stress melt away the problems melt away the situations why because I'm gonna do best to be stressed so many times we don't understand it you have just got to put God first brothers and sisters Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said Lord does thou not care that my sister have left me to serve alone Bid her, therefore, that she would come and help me. I love Martha. Martha is almost like Jesus' mother. Remember when Jesus' mother had a problem? She said, I'm going to go tell Jesus. Go tell Jesus that they don't have any wine here. So many times we got problems in our lives and we go to everybody other than Jesus. You go on and tell them rather than tell him. 
you go on and try to talk to everybody what you think about this and what you think about that. And I'm going to tell you, you need to be like John. You need to be like Apostle Paul. You need to be like Apostle John. They called him camel knees. Why do they call him camel knees? Not because he just had old big knees. Amen. They had called him camel knees because, amen, because he would bow down on his knees and pray all the time. As I was saying that, I was thinking about something I just recently read. And it was talking about Bishop William Lee Bonner. It talked about Bishop Bonner had got to the point they were building the, the new church on Delaney in Halifax in Detroit. And the Bible says that they had decided that that congregation had said, listen, we're not going to buy no new cars and we're not going to buy no new clothes or anything. We're going to give all of our increase unto the Lord until this house is built. First of all, that's a sacrifice, if you will. And what a pastor, what a man that can get a whole congregation to say, well, ladies, don't buy no more shoes. Don't buy no monos. Amen. Don't buy no. Someone with Sister Bates looking for shoes yesterday. Amen. I've looked at the price of them shoes. They was crazy. $400, $500 for a pair of shoes. <laughs> we didn't buy none. We just looked at them. <laughs> Bishop Bonner had a whole congregation said, we're not going to buy no cars we're not going to buy no new clothes and in the process of that what I'm thinking about is this is that as they went forward and the story goes and the writing goes it said that Bishop Bonner would have <laughs> he would come to church and he would be preaching and his knees suits would have holes in the knees not because he would work in them and <laughs> pray in them. My point is this. He spent time in prayer, guys. I ain't telling y'all walk around and hose in your stuff. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying you got to learn how to sacrifice for God. Learn how to put him first. You worried about why your life is like it is. Listen to me. I'm telling you. I, rather it's like you want it to be or not. I'm telling you, put God first. Put God first. Learn how to recognize and say, I know God wants me blessed. He don't want me stressed. But because you are like Martha, you're a single family, single mother, you're dealing with stuff, you've got issues, you're working on all these things. Don't put that stuff before God. Worship God. Now when I say that, I am not telling anybody to stop taking care of your business. But I'm saying you put God first. Do y'all hear me? You'd be surprised how things will order in your lives. You'd be surprised how it will get together. And you women that got husbands, let me give you a secret. Maybe I better not even just deliver it to husbands. I better say if you got a significant other, generation I'm in, you get what you praise. Did y'all hear me? Stop all that fussing and arguing. Drama in the house. You want something from your significant other? Learn to praise that. <laughs> My wife say, I love it when the trash can is empty. I don't know what it is about ladies, mother walking. They just don't like the trash in the kitchen. I know it's true. You praise that, that's what you're going to get. Sister Harmon, you talking that like that? Had a young man one time, he was talking about, he said, I'm leaving home and I'm getting married. No, no, let me say this. Y'all didn't see what I said. That's Karen. I know what Karen said. The trash don't be out all the time. <laughs> I know that. That's what she told her mother. I ain't never liked you, Karen. That's, I ain't never, I ain't never liked you. I said, that's what my intentions is now. Y'all can't get away with what I do. Amen? Amen, Walls. But this brother, he said, he said, I'm leaving home. Why are you leaving home, man? I'm getting married. Why are you getting married? Because my mama always making me take out the trash. I said, boy, you ain't never had nobody tell you to take out the trash like a wife. So what are you talking about? I'm saying you've got to learn how to put 
things in priority. Stop the drama in your home. Decide that I'm going to give myself to the Lord. 